week four is uh, an SEC play. Uh, I thought we played really well to start off at Kentucky in the first half. I just simply didn't have enough bodies uh, to sustain the success that we was having there. Um, but I, I was really pleased with the way our guys dealt with some adversity here against a good ball club against Ole Miss. Uh, our, our past, um, we've always had some adversity against the old team that kind of folded. And uh, when they went on a, either a 12-0 or 14-0 run in the second half there, and we were able to still pull that game out, I, I thought it showed some uh, growth and maturity with our guys. Um, now the key is, is getting our guys to come back down and, and get ready to go and compete against Alabama, who does some things um, that give us problems. They press uh, in the backcourt, and we got to not turn the ball over. And it looks like they've been playing a lot of zone as well, too. So those are two things we'll have to combat. But the biggest thing is just getting our guys back in the mindset of going in and compete. When you look back on the fan Ole Miss, when you meet with your team, what do you kind of get them focused on to the point of, hey, this is what we did well? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not going to do anything with Ole Miss at this point in time because we have such a quick turnaround. Um, so what I'm going to do is just wait and show them the next time we play Ole Miss, we can use a fresh film there. So. We're just going to move on right away to Alabama. What did you think they did well on that you want to harp on? Well, I just found, I think the biggest thing is we found a way to deal with adversity. Uh, we didn't drop our heads and stop competing. We weren't able to score the basketball, and they went on that big run. But also, we, we continued to drive the basketball. We didn't uh, get caught up in the fact that we're not making shots. We continued to put our head down and drive the ball and get into the paint and have some positive things happen from our ability to drive the basketball. With the close proximity to Alabama, how will you kind of handle travel? Will you go over Wednesday or will you go over the night before? We'll, we'll treat it just the same. We'll leave on Tuesday. You talk about that adversity. It seems like I.J. Reddy's a guy, whenever there's situations like that or late in games, even if he's had a bad game previously, those are sort of his moments to step up, which is impressive for a freshman. Yeah, I mean, he, he has some attributes um, that are, are really uncommon for a freshman. Um, his calmness on the court, his ability to not get, get wrapped up in himself, to continue to think about the team when an adversity sets in. He just got some things about him that makes him a winner, and he's got a calmness to him. It's kind of like you know, being a quarterback. You, know, it's, it's, you don't want a quarterback to be a crazy guy who's all over the place. You want a calm, collected guy like a Joe Montana. And, and that's what I.J. is. He's calm, cool, and collected, and, and has been in so many like tense moments that it really doesn't bother him. When did you Speak. talk about some of that when, you know, even just when he signed, you were saying he seemed like he was going to be that kind of guy. When did you figure that out about him and realize that's, you know, who he was? Well, when you go first watching play, I mean, uh, AAU has some stiff competition there. You get a chance to see him play in those moments, and, and those moments really didn't affect him. And as I continue to go back and watch him, and then obviously having Wes Flanagan on staff and him, you know, Al being his father and getting a chance to know all about IJ really helps that situation as well, too. But you can just see it right away with him. Speaking of IJ, he's got a tough matchup with Relaford on Wednesday night. Just talk about that matchup between the point guards. Well, you're assuming that's going to be the matchup. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I don't really know for sure, you know, how we're going to match that up there. Um, but uh, I, I think. Uh, Whoever's going to guard Trevor Relifer has got to be prepared to like play defense for the whole time because he just never quits trying to score the basketball. Um, he's a guy that's been a prolific scorer for them, um, really since he set foot on campus. And he's the guy who, like, when they need a bucket, they go to him. So, And it's not just the fact that he's one-on-one. -on -one. They send him off of ball screens. They send him off of screens for cut off the ball. And I think the thing he's doing a lot better now is he's making three-point shots. Usually kind of just playing for the drive a little bit and live and die with the three. Um, but uh, he's making a good percentage from the three-point line as well, too. So I think he's averaging uh, 22 points a game these past four games and I think 18 and a half uh, for the season. So he's a prolific scorer for them. Can you talk